One of the things you probably never think of is that just before you go to walk into that listing presentation, you're probably walking into a listing presentation where you're about to steal someone else's past client. And have you ever thought about that? That literally, why are you getting called in when they should have a great relationship with their previous agent? Well, the secret is, is that most real estate agents are probably short-term relationship specialists. They meet a seller and 42 days later, they're sold and then that's kind of it. But what we're not thinking about is that how do we go to build a relationship with the next future seller, which is actually that buyer who just purchased the home. One of the great things about the real estate transaction is that we've got the buyer's email address, but they don't wanna be receiving every single time something's been listed or sold in their area. They actually don't wanna be receiving an email about all the properties that are available each and every week. They're no longer that super active inside of the marketplace. But what they do wanna do is they do wanna make that decision to use you as a real estate agent. Over 64% of consumers we now know are in a position that they definitely want to use the agent that they actually have that conversation with. However, the only reason why they don't is it tends to be that that agent just simply does not follow up with them in any way whatsoever. So what do the best agents do? One of the interesting conversations is that they actually set up alerts when there's a significant property that's sold or a significant property that's listed within a 1.5 kilometer radius of that particular home that that buyer has just bought. Then, in addition to that, they do a nice little monthly email that goes out to give an overall snapshot about what's actually happening inside of that local market area. And then they then look to automate around something we go to call the annual checkout. An email that goes out advising consumers that it's now been a year since they've purchased that property and they're now due for that annual checkout, but you get to pop out as an agent and to give them an idea on what that particular property is worth. The great capability here is learning how you can use email to do some of the heavy lifting, but most importantly to automate and build out good quality relationships. At the end of the day, your past clients should know you as their agent. They should be in a position that they've got your email address in their contact book. And most importantly, they should be in a position that on the regular, they know exactly what's actually happening in market. Enough to be able to make sure that they're informed, but not too much to make them in a position that they go to unsubscribe. Your capability here is to realize that email marketing is not one email for every single client that you've got in the database. Email marketing is about making that decision. You've got very specific segments, whether or not that be buyers, your buyer hit list, your buyer sellers, your past clients, your past market appraisals, who go to receive different emails using different templates with information that is very specific to them and their need. The power and the future of Greater Start Agency is in the segmentation of that database and making sure that you're in front of your past clients more often so they can make the decision to use you as their real estate agent.